Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about European article number. In short, it is EAN. So let's begin our session. What is EAN? It is also called International Article Number. Now it is known as GTIN, GTIN. Types of EAN. There are two types of EAN. EAN 13, which is also known as GTIN 13, and EAN 8, which is also known as GTIN 8. Both types are used widely outside of North America, like in Europe, Asia, Africa. But it is also recognized in North America. So non-North American companies can send or sell the items in North America with EAN code or EAN barcodes. Now let's see EAN 13. It is also known as GTIN 13. So this is the barcode I have attached of GTIN 13. You can see it is of 13 digit. Now EAN 13 is known as GTIN 13. It is a 13 digit standard barcode to identify a particular item in the supply chain. It is used widely outside of North America, but it is also recognized in North in North America. So non-North American company can send the items in the North America with EAN barcode. Now let's see the structure of EAN. EAN code consists of member organization country code plus manufacturer code plus product code plus check digit. So all four would be of 13 digit. This member organization code would be of two to three digits. For some country it is two digit and some countries it is three digits. Member organization code plus manufacturer code plus product would be of 12 digits. If country code is two digit then manufacturer code plus product code would be 10 digits. Suppose manufacturer code is seven digit. The country code is two digit, manufacturer code seven digit, then product code would be of three digits. If country code is two digits, manufacturer code is five digits, then product code would be of five digits. So all three together should be of 12 digits. That's why I have mentioned here, manufacturer code of variable length, product code of variable length and check digit would be of single digit. Check digit is used to verify if your EAN code is valid or not. I have attached one screenshot of the product which is having the barcode printed on it and you can see it is of 13 digit. Now let's see EAN 8 which is also known as GTIN 8. I have attached a barcode screenshot of barcode of GTI 8. You can see it is of 8 digits. Let's see what is EAN 8. It is one of type of EAN. It was introduced for use on small items like cigarette, pencil, chewing gum where EAN 13 barcode would be too large where EAN 13 barcode would not be possible to be fit like chewing gum. Chewing gum size is very less so it is difficult to print the EAN 13 barcode. That's why we that's why EAN 8 was introduced. It is used widely outside of America for small products but it is also recognized in North America so non North American company can send the items or sell the items in North America with EAN 8 barcodes. What is the structure of EAN 8 barcode? It is having three parts country code, product code and check digit. Country code would be of two to three digits and product code would be of four to five digits and check digit of single digit. Check digit is used to validate if your barcode is valid or not. Just to highlight GS1 member organization country code is branch code of the GS1 branch. Suppose you have registered yourself with GS1 UK. Then this code would be of GS1 UK branch. I have attached one screenshot here. You can see a digit barcode is EN8. Now let's see JN Japanese article number. I have attached the screenshot of it. It is of 13 digit. JN is used in Japan. It is a part of GTIN and follow the structure of GTIN. Now it is known as EN13 or G1013. The first two digits are country code and must be 45 or 49. Structure it would follow the same structure of GTIN 13 like GS member 
country code, manufacturer code, product code and check digit. For the Japan, the member organization country code is 45 or 49. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.